Well, Meek Mill had a video recently. He was walking around someplace, and mm -hmm. uh, he said, no Diddy. No Diddy gang, Meek Mill in real life. Yeah. Don't ever disrespect me. You heard that shit, Meek. Yeah, Meek. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, you saw that? No, I seen it. You yeah, seen it? I mean, look, you can't really no Diddy your way out of that photo. You got the matching outfit <laughs> with Puffy. You can't no Diddy your way out of that. But I guess what I don't, it's a little disappointing, is that it seemed like Meek Mill was an actual friend. There's no friends in the industry, Vlad. But it seemed like they were actually had a, a relationship. There's no friends in the industry, Vlad. There ain't no friends in the industry. I think a lot of people, you see all the silence we're hearing now? I think, I think Ray J kind of said, even though Ray J's kind of going a little cuckoo recently. <laughs> love him. But here's the, a lot of, there's a lot of people silent. And th there's three reasons. One, they got some skeleton in their closet. They're like, let me not jump in because I don't want them to look at me. Two, some of them was at these parties and they may have freaked off a couple girls with Diddy. Yeah. And three. Or, guy, or guys. Yeah, or guys. <laughs> right? And the, 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 the third version is literally them trying to figure out, like, I don't want to be against this guy if he beats it. So everybody's been watching it. So they're watching it and they'll be like, shit. We're like 23 lawsuits in. Yes. More, more than that. That was over 120. No, no. They, they, oh, I see what you're saying. They haven't all filed yet. They, okay. they haven't all filed. Yeah. So, so they're like, we're a bunch of lawsuits in. Right? And um, I think now people are realize, man, fuck that friendship. It's time to save our own ass. Yeah. That's the only part I like about with Meek Mill. Nobody ever accused Meek Mill of doing a crime. People accuse Meek Mill of being homosexual and doing some freak acts with Diddy. Let's be clear. Yeah, although I don't think it's true. Me either. Yeah. But here's what I'm saying. This I said there's no friends in the industry. No matter how much goddamn cocoa, coconut, Ciroc you fed that nigga, no matter how many times you took him to Neiman Marcus and Saks Fifth to cop matching outfits with him, <laughs> no matter how many times, you know what I mean, you had the, you had the bubbles on by the, so, uh, 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 by the spa, and of course you had the heated pool and he was resting, he was, he was thawing out in that pool. <laughs> and, and you were saying, you deserve it, daddy. No right. matter how much- You hopping around. <laughs> yeah, no matter how much you do that for a nigga, at the very opportune point that he says, it's time to kick his back in, he's gonna say, now I'm no Diddy Gang. Here's my problem. You could clear up your masculinity or your sexuality without saying if that was really your friend. Yo, I don't know what's going on. You don't even got a coast on him. I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah. Hey, anytime I was around him, I ain't seen none of that shit. Right. But me, I ain't gay. That, that, you, know, you know what fucked me, me up? It's that fake audio of, of what they said. This was, this was an audio recording of what happened in the room. It was like, uh, 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 uh. I'm serious. <laughs> I remember that, yeah. I'm serious. <laughs> the thing is, Meek is so internet stupid, like, that's just been bothering him. So here's the thing, and I know exactly what I was thinking. It's the elephant in the room every room Meek goes in. So Meek is showing out. He's in the hood now. So now when they put the camera on him, he got to be extra tough. Hey, yo, I'm no Diddy gang. Nobody even knew the gang existed. He created the gang. <laughs> that's your, how you create your dad. Yo, he just created a gang. He yo, I'm no Diddy gang, gang now. <laughs> what? What? Nobody, nobody ever thought, yo, we need to create a no Diddy gang. He created the gang, but it was peacocking. Pause. Like, he wanted to show out to the other street dudes. Now, I'm really against that because he knows when they look at him, they're wondering, was he into that funny shit? But I don't, that's why I said there's no friends in the industry. When you say that, given you're someone who knew him, I don't know Diddy. I never met him. I never hung around him. I never party with him. I never had free coughs with him. We've never been in, 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 we don't know each other. If I say no Diddy, okay, it's just a common term that people are using. When you say it, it's almost insinuating, and I'm saying you as in me, it insinuates, yeah, that nigga was doing some shit like that, so I'm, I'm just telling you, no Diddy now. You're throwing him under the bus.